Hello everybody, today we'll be talking about a discontinued Leatherman multi-tool, been discontinued for a couple years now, called the Leatherman Juice. Multiple versions of that, I happen to have the Juice CS4. Great little model. Let's get into it. First off, pliers. Size, pliers, how big is this thing? You may not know exactly how big this is because there's it's been discontinued for a while. So here's a modern tool that a lot of people are liking. I personally love this tool as well. And that is the Leatherman Skeletal, or uh, not Leatherman Skeletal, the Sog Power Pint. As you can see, very similarly, similarly length. Plier heads are pretty much the same. The SOGs, if you really want to size it up side by side, it's just a smidge shorter, perhaps. Depending on where you want to pivot. If you want to go with the main pivot, they're longer. If you're going with usable bits, it's about the same. Great tool. Close these up. And so, show them side by side. Pretty much the same size. A little bit fatter. I'm trying to get these lined up on the lines on the board here. You can kind of use that as reference. You know, the juice is a little bit fatter than the power pint. About the same thickness, unless you count the corkscrew, which then pops it out. But if you count the pocket clip on the pint, well, they're about the same. About the same length. Pretty much the same length. Almost exactly the same length. So... If you know what the power pine is, you have a visual reference for this little guy here. So, I just wrote down a list of what these tools have and how they stack up against each other, and they're pretty even. This was Leatherman, uh, a great little model from Leatherman. I just got this in the mail today. I ordered this from eBay a few days ago. Got a good price on it. Um... Like, yeah, this is an awesome tool. I see why people love it. I love it. And I'll show you another thing that this is very similar to in just a minute. You can pause the video and check this out if you want to see the more specifics. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you've had your chance to pause. Let's show you what all this thing has. First off, we have the main knife blade. I'll be comparing it to the power pine because they're the same size tools in general, the whole the overall tool. We have similar lengths of sharpened edge. So the juice is substantially longer, but they're they're pretty much equal. It seems longer because you got that ricasso there. You knock down that ricasso, you've got the about the same length blade there. We have on the other side. Let's not let's not do that side just yet. Let's do this one. We have scissors. These are great scissors. Um, how do they stack up against Victorinox scissors? They're a little bit longer. They cut just as good. I, I would say Victorinox cuts better. I, mean, I, I say Victorinox cuts better than the juice, but these are very good snippy scissors. They got a good torsion spring there. They fold right up, quite solid. I know what some of you are already thinking. We'll be getting to that in just a minute. Um, we have a corkscrew system with a bottle opener and can opener. I'm not too sure about how well that can opener works, but it says it has a can opener, so it has a can opener. Bottle opener looks good. We'll cover the screwdriver in a minute. That's a little modification I just made to this. Um, on the other side, we have an awl, and the awl on this, to me, kind of sucks. Comparing this to the Power Pints awl, which this thing is absolutely, you know, razor sharp. Sorry if I'm off screen here. Um, that thing is sharp. That thing is great for leather crafting. This thing, dare I even call it an awl. Like, it's not sharp. I, I'm, I'm putting pressure on it there. I'm, I'm poking my hand. I'm not doing anything. But... It has a saw, which the power pint does not have. It's a great saw. Excuse me while I adjust my lighting here.
Did that help? I think that helped. Um, but yeah, as I saw, none of these tools lock on the juice, which makes this European friendly for most in most cases. Um, I'm sure some local laws won't allow you to carry anything at all. I know Ireland has some bad laws, but it's the world we live in. I do feel sorry for you. I do wish your knife laws changed for the better. But this is European friendly. This is not. Now, as I've said to several people in the past, you could disassemble the power pint and file down the tang lock there, make these blades non-locking, which would make it European friendly. But uh, the inside tools, starting off with the Phillips driver. I do think this is a better Phillips driver than the power pint. It's full dimension. It's solid. I mean, the power pint is awesome. It's a great little screwdriver. No complaints with it at all. But that Phillips driver on this back end, I don't know. Yeah, it's personal preference. Um, aside from... The Phillips, this is like the one tool that you have to have another tool to get to, is a pop-out lanyard hole, which the power pint has on the outside there that I can flip around and put a lanyard through. It's just a hair too small for most Nighties clips of normal size, but if you get like the super skinny ones, it'll probably work. Um, flip that in. On the other side, we have three flatheads, and these, if you're not careful, will kind of stab you as they come out, because they kind of, when they pop out, they pop out. Get that one out, get that one out. I'm protecting my fingers till I get used to this. This thing is new, my hand isn't used to this tool. But we have three um, flatheads here, and I'd almost just go ahead and make this a, a focus camera. Thank you. I don't know, let's just go ahead and make that the all. Because that's just small and pointy enough. It's That's sharper than the other thing. I'm sorry for blurring out on you guys. The lighting in here is kind of funky. I'm sitting by my window and sun's going down. Lights all over the place. But the, the main, Phillips, uh, main Phillips and the main flat that you flip out are very fusible. Like all, everything on this tool is solid. I do love everything on this tool. It's great. It's awesome. So, if you've been considering a Leatherman Juice, I highly recommend it. And there's multiple models to go with. This is kind of the standard model. Now, as a clarification, these are uh, discontinued from Leatherman. Leatherman does not make these anymore, but you can usually find these on Let Go, Mercari, eBay. The secondhand sites. Find them. Go to the garage sales. You probably find some. And if you find one, I'd say get one. These things are great. Uh, average price is going to bring you about eighty dollars for these guys on eBay. I lucked out and got it way cheaper. But if you pay more than a hundred for one of these, you're you're. I I would wait for another tool to show up. They they show up on eBay now and then. Now. When I got this and I saw the size of the corkscrew, I took a spare Victorinox eyeglass driver that I had and wanted to see if it fit. And it fits nicely, right in there. This corkscrew is a little bit bigger. This is a little bit loose in the corkscrew, but it fits. And that's a good, fun little addition to this neat little multi-tool. Everything on this is peened. And so you can't disassemble it for cleaning, which is okay. Um, but I, like it's a it's a full pretty much a full size plier head in a small handle. Like this little guy is great. I have nothing to complain about it. Now, uh, one side is going to be a little bit thicker on the CS4. Don't think that the scales are bent. That's just how the tool is made. One one handle is going to be a little bit thicker. Than the other. That's just how it is. This is also like the first multi-tool that I've seen that does not have a ruler on hand. Usually they got a rule. They, they find somewhere on these things to put a ruler. There's no ruler on this, which is kind of nice and kind of weird feeling at the same time. But you know, most of these rulers are kind of useless. Like the, the power pints ruler, that sucks. I'm sorry, Sog, but I, I, why did you even add that? 
it costs you more money to, to add that to the tool. Just don't do that and knock off five bucks. But the juice, Leatherman juice, wire cutters, non-replaceable, good plier heads. Like uh, those are grippy. Those are sharp. Those are grippy. Good needle nose pliers. Like these things have like high tolerance. And yeah, I am, I am absolutely pleased with this little multi-tool. Will it, re will it personally replace this guy? Probably not. I do like this guy. I like to have the bit capabilities that this guy has, which this one does not. But I can't, I had the chance to buy a discontinued Leatherman. I took the chance. I'm glad I, I bought it. This thing is great. If you have the money and you halfway want to consider getting one of these, you go get one. I think you'll be glad about it. This thing is absolutely awesome. It's, it's just kind of fun, fidgety, and uh, goes quite well visually with an Olight i3T EOS. Makes a fun little EDC right there. So, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Pass it around. Tell people about my videos. I'm trying to make new content all the time. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.